What's up, everybody? We're here with Joza from Mexico. Hello. Long time patient. Uh, this is your second trip to Dream Team so far? Yeah, yeah, but I've been patient of Chat for almost 14 years. 14 years? Yeah. And what, what do you like uh, the most about coming up here and getting your prosthetic care? Well, most of this is the treatment and then you were uh, experts on the uh, on this subject. Uh, you offer different solutions for different patients, no matter what's the level of amputation, you will uh, give your patient a, a honest uh, solution of what he, uh, he will be able to do. You know? And then all also depends on the patient how much effort uh, he puts on, on the training and everything. Well, cool. Uh, and so you're up here this week um, getting some adjustments made and, and you got some loaner knees, you get yeah. your knees back? Yeah, I just got my C legs back. It's my second pair mm -hmm. on these 14 years and I'm, I'm really happy with them. They have worked fine for me. I'm able to, to walk, um, to drive a cart without hand controls and go down ramps, stairs. And Pretty much living a normal life like everybody, got a job and everything, mm -hmm. be with the family, play with the kids. And you said this is your second pair of sea legs in, in yeah. 14 years? Yeah. That's 14. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. The last ones uh, lasted almost 10 years. Um, then after that, uh, for policies of Autobug, they, they cannot make a, another service to them, but they were functional. So that's an amazing product. Yeah, I would have to say so. I mean, and, and those are uh, second or third uh, generation? Third, third, third generation. Third generation. The other ones were, I don't know, I don't remember, second or first generation sea legs. Uh, there were silver, silver and blue. Mm -hmm. These ones are uh, almost black, but if you see it close, it's uh, yeah. a blue navy, dark. But mm -hmm. it looks awesome. I like it a lot. Yeah, and it's a true testament to the technology um, yeah, they, that, it, that it still works really yeah, well. Yeah, and, and they just. Uh, they bring it out to service and they take all the scratches and everything on this second surface. Mm -hmm. So it's really awesome. We were really surprised when we received it today. Uh, it was awesome. And we just got done uh, fitting his sea legs to him. Um, and we just did some minor adjustments uh, to the settings. And so, Joseph, you want to show him how? 14 year old technology operates on this steep ramp? Yeah, of course. A little rusty, but here we go. Here you go. So, how does that feel when you're going down? Uh, it feels pretty secure. You know, it, it takes a while for one leg to get to another so that's the thing of these ones you well you get it on the other more advanced but on these ones you've got the opportunity to put one feet in front of the other mm -hmm. and it depends how fast you want to go uh, how much you can control it because you're supposed to give like little steps to get more control mm -hmm. there you go there you go so, and, and on the stairs, is it, it does it operate the same way as it does yeah, on the ramp? Yeah, it's most, mostly like uh, positioning your foot on the right side. So if, you know, if you go in a ramp, it, it automatically goes from the back to the front. So it doesn't bend that, that fast. But if you do it on here, it's some kind of matter of positioning, as if you put... Uh, not that much of the the heel outside, you will not be able to bend it as easier as if you position it like one and the other, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's a matter of practice and everything, no? Yeah. And it's amazing to see how technology has kind of progressed over uh, the last two decades. I know. Yeah. You said you you walked on uh, the first generation sea legs. I walked on the first generation sea legs. Uh, back in 2012 and I was on those for three months and I was able to get around and, and live life and do everything as as you have said that you've been able to do um, and I guess what, what I'm getting to is it's cool to see how the technology started and where it's ended up today like I'm in a pair of Genium microprocessor knees and my ability to go down the ramp up the ramp 
downstairs, upstairs, uh, wouldn't be possible today if, if it wasn't for that technology. Yeah. So it, it's cool to see how the sea leg operates, and then to see how the genium X3 operates, and to see those common similarities. Yeah, it's almost the same. Uh, almost the same. Uh, how it's called? Artwork plus another. Uh, other things that they have, and yeah. a little more the computer process other information that this doesn't, it doesn't, but... Uh, but you're still able to yeah. live a fully functional life, yeah. regardless of all those a extra added features. That's right. Yeah. It's a matter of uh, uh, learning how to operate uh, the tools that you're given, you know, because like for me, uh, my, my insurance doesn't pay for this. I pay it by myself. So it's not a, as easy for me that to go every three or four years to uh, change my needs. Yeah. No? And so the way that you're going off the ri off the curb there is the exact same way that I go off the curb yeah, as well. And, and, uh, and the same way that I trick the knee to go off. So I'm really happy with uh, all the treatment and have great friends here on uh, Dream Team. It's been a long journey since I know Chad and Randy and I'm really happy they crossed my way cause because of their help uh, and teachings I'm walking today and also well, uh, a little bit of effort on my side and technology all together we make this possible without all those components I will not be here so and thank you very much and see you later <laughs> you've heard it straight from the horse's mouth that's Ben Joza thanks for coming back up here thank you Zed thank you Randy over and out <laughs>